Hello, hello, and welcome to my happy place. I haven't done a video, which I was supposed to do days and days and days ago, because um, I had a migraine that wouldn't go away. It's just a stubborn one. You know, when you get a stubborn one and you think it's gone and then it boom, comes right back. So, I'm in my happy place. I have a lot to share. First, I want to say, I have been using this for years. This was from uh, Joan Rivers Beauty. And what I do is, because my hair is thinning, I take a brush, any brush, choose your brush, and I just go down where my white, very white scalp shows. And I find that it makes the hair thicker. Didn't want anyone to think that I was having a wig on or anything. <laughs> if it looked different. Because most of the time I forget to use it, which is very bad. The second thing, I never really do empties because I don't have a lot of empties. Oh, and I had bought that Joan Rivers powder on HSN and I think they still carry it. Even though I've had this for several years <laughs> and I have hit pan on it. Wait, how do I open it? But there's still plenty around the edges so I'll still be using it for a long time. I never do empties because I never really have any. Excuse me. But I use this by Revision Neck to Firm. And I have used it up. And it took me about a year, but it's gone, so I finally have an empty. <laughs> Let me just throw that in the garbage. And then I made a purchase this week of the Jeffree Star Morphe brushes. And I had this on the table, and the sheep -a doodle must have thought it smelled good, because if you could see, he had it and I had to chase him around the backyard to rescue it because I knew he was I said what is he chewing something pink so I went out to see and he had grabbed this off the table so I have my new brushes to use and most of them I think are face brushes I think there's three it looks like three brushes I can use for the eyes. They're soft. I'll give them that. I have never tried um, the Jeffree Star brushes from Morphe, so I thought I'd give it a try. And the next thing, I guess I have to throw this away now that it has a big tooth hole in it. <laughs> I've got it here too. Sheep a doodle will steal anything you leave around. I bought the new Natasha Denona. What was it called? Metropolis palette. I like her palettes. I think this may be a fall, very fall looking palette. And it's cute. I think that's a green. What I'm seeing is, I think it's a green, perhaps, shiny, don't know what it's made out of, and whoa, they are really full colors. Comes with a mirror. And when you open it, this plastic piece goes up with the names of the colors. Hmm. So I've already done my face. And I have set my primer on my eyes. Now I had a, a very sweet comment from someone on a video the last time I did an eye look. And she was saying that the colors would look nicer and 
more true to color if I did not use a powder over my primer. Um, what I told her back was because I'm old I have to adjust when I use colorful palettes. I don't want them to be too colorful um, so I have to set the primer and someone young and pretty wouldn't understand that but I appreciate anyone with constructive criticism and I found that to be very constructive and she also told me to blend it out with the lighter colors which I will take into account but this palette whoo I had no idea it was going to be so dark let's see what we could do with it I'll bring you in closer there we go I really have to learn how to adjust this camera. And I'll start off with the Jeffree Star. So I don't think there's... And I forgot to bring my glasses over. Oh, I think that's the first time I ever forgot my glasses. So there is a color, and I think it's called Rope. And it's this one here and I'm going to use that for a transition I'm just going to roll it in till I see how pigmented it actually is and it's not too bad after you've had a a migraine it's so hard to get back into the swing of things because the medications that I take do leave me a little groggy so if I mix up my words I apologize in advance <laughs> and I won't know I did it until I go to edit so this I think is making a nice transition for me It's not too dark. And the brush is nice, it's soft. Let me just check in my 10X. It's a soft color. I think I could even use a little, maybe even use a little more. I wouldn't say any of these um, brushes in his brush set are detail brushes. No, wouldn't say that. And even the second brush, I think, is too big for me to use as a crease brush. So I am going to go back into my Jeffrey. I really have to organize my brushes better. I have them all mixed in. Um, I think I'm going to go with See if I can get the color which is quite convenient because this does not come off so you have the colors forever I think I'm going to go into ripe um, which is this one right here and I'm going to go into the crease I am using an old old Trish McAvoy which must be like 100 years old. Now that went on quite pigmented. I am going to blend that out. It did not help that I used a brush that was dense. Now, I'm going to take the same brush, the Jeffree Star brush that I started with, and I don't think there's numbers, there could be, but they're very tiny. And I'm just gonna blend that out. After the first one being not so pigmented, I did not expect this one to be so pigmented. And it's blending quite nice. It's 
nice. You can see I have more on one eye than the other. Don't you hate when that happens? Because <laughs> I really didn't want to go in with more. But I noticed I just had a little bit of a thicker line on one side. It is a very pretty color. I can't believe fall is just about here. So I don't think we've had the first day of fall yet. Now I'm going to go um, I know this this goldy color here is kind of calling me. I like the gold and I like the yellow. Gold, yellow, gold, yellow. I think I'm going to go with the shiny gold. And we do have a very glittery blue here, which calls to me too. Um, I'm going to go with the uh, gold. And I think I'm gonna try my finger first. I think that was meant as a topper because it's not sticking at all or either that or it's just too thick. Um, let me see what the yellow does. I like the yellow better. Let's see if we can cover that up. Talk sparkles. <laughs> That's sparkly. That has a lot of sparkle. I think I am going to have to learn how to use glitter glue. I'm just not going to be able to get around it much longer. Not if I continue using palettes like this. I have not really learned the difference between toppers and just glitters yet. Um, I'm still learning a lot. I got up there a little bit. I'm going to have to try to fix that. But I think the topper means you have to put a color under it and then just dab that over it. So I'm going to learn that. Let me just see if I make sure I don't have glitter on my fingers. I am going to put a little bit of this. I'm going to take a Wingos 10 and see if I could just put this in the corner. Yeah, perhaps. So I think this is looking more like a shimmer than a... Well, probably need a stiffer brush. One that is uh, tiny. Let's see. Okay. This 
one's pretty creamy. I kind of want it to blend in a bit. Now I learned these are more toppers than just straight up glitter and I have to learn to do that. Um, I'm going to go back with the Wayne Goss and I'm going to go with um, what the heck I'm going to go with this no, that's a little bit of a shimmer, I think. I'm going to try it anyway. This color is kind of like a very dark forest green. And I'm just going to try that on the outer part and try to cover up some of that glitter I got going on there. and have it blend in a little. I just wanted to make an outer V with that, but I had not realized that this had so many shimmers in it. It almost looks like it has more shimmers than than mattes. I'm going to have to be more careful in the future what I purchase. blend that a little bit. I'm going to take the other, the second Jeffree Star and just and I went too far over with the green so it's going to show through the glit. The glitter is going to show through. Boy, lately I've had more losers than winners on my palettes, on my looks. Just hate when that happens. I even have to resort to Q-tips. <laughs> and I'm just going to take Let me see. My uh Wing Goss 04 and go in with the first color that I started with. Just to. Now, why are you dark? <laughs> this usually only happens to me when I'm going out somewhere really special and you want your eyes to look special and everything gets messed up. Okay. Back to the Q-tips. It's 
So I'm just going to put some mascara and some eyeliner and I'll be right back. So I did the best I could with this palette. It's a little bit dark for me and I hadn't realized when I'd seen it online, but it's a very pretty palette. Um, if I was going to use it again, I would definitely put um, my foundation on after I use the palette. It is very pretty, very fall, very winter. Um, a lot of a lot of glitters. To finish off, I just put a little bit more of the green underneath my eyes. I just did a quick coat of the Lancome mascara. I used a little bit of the um, Brow Lift Light that Get This Glowing suggested to me. And on my face, I used the La Mer foundation today. I am a bit glittery. <laughs> but it's just makeup and it washes off. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to my happy place. I had fun sharing my new Natasha Denona palette with you. Happy trails. Until we meet again. Bye-bye.